You guys know that BBC, you know, I keep it re, you know, I I'm a guy who is very transparent and I tend to give my take defend our people. But at the same time, we have to call BS BS. When you see BS, you call it BS. But everybody deserves to express its own opinion, uh that's for sure. But let's go let's go straight to the point. When uh uh, uh when uh, Michael Benson Put out a tweet, uh, of course, quoting Tassafiri saying that uh, water is more dangerous than uh, Joshua, that Joshua is like a big uh, cuddly baby, that he can't he can't hold uh, hold, uh, hold hold a candle to the Gypsy King and all that, you know. Then one of our brother replied, you know, re- replied uh, responded to the to the tweet and saying, uh, "Water is definitely more dangerous than AJ. AJ has nothing to work on as a boxer." The only time is good is when an opponent isn't fighting back. His jab is poor, his stance is horrible, he can't take a punch and he's been dropped more than 3 times. Like this guy First of all, we fight by my brother right here on Lady Day and uh, Ty, I will first of all say listen. Tyson Fury has been dropped 3 times. He has been dropped by a known puncher as well, okay? He got dropped by no a no puncher we already know who, who that is. A light heavyweight. In fact, cruiserweight. Let's just say cruiserweight. Okay. And he is not really like Tassifiri. I don't think he has a solid, solid chin because he has been really badly beaten up or badly wounded by Otto Wallen. And of course, looking at Deontay Water, Deontay Water is not a boxer. Him saying that AJ has more to work on as a boxer, of course, yeah, AJ has more to work on as a boxer. But compared co- compared to Water, like AJ is like twenty times, you know, uh, ahead of Deontay Water when you compare their skill set. In fact, Water doesn't have does, is not skillful. He's not he's not as a skillful boxer. He's a deadly puncher. And that is true, but before I, of course, invite my brother right here to, to join us, uh, of course, I will read some of the some of the response to the guy's tweet. One said, uh, "But you forgot you forgetting Fury being put on his ass by by more boxers than anyone else in the top ten. You're also forgetting Fury is the only champ not to lose." I understand. Pure the guy reply. Uh, the other side, the other guy said, "The lumberjack said you literally just explained." While the Joshua can switch ties, water's average when he's fighting someone who is in a tin can. Uh, the other guy said, uh, "Are you talking about Wilder? Because AJ is the most complete skill set we have at Everweight currently. Anyone who cannot see it is a tool." Um, uh, the Benny Boy says, "So you're saying he's a bad boxer, but holds most of the belts in the Everweight division? Think you need to watch more of?" boxing and the guy responded saying he's a, he's a terrible is a terrible boxer you want a list of boxers who held belts but we are horrible, horrible boxers aj is holding on to a belt that he won taking a guy who knocked him out all the way to 12 rounds crap i mean i mean those are just a few few responses that i've seen uh the other guy said boxing and just say can't take a punch did you see the bombs he took from klitschko and white Fury don't hit harder than them two at all. His jab was very good. Uh, his last fight, what are you on about? He stands. AJ always has displayed decent uh, footwork for a guy who only took up boxing at 18. And, 18. and the guy replied saying, Klitschko's bombs were nearing retirement and White isn't considered White isn't considered a hard puncher. His footwork is a joke. A better rematch White will bring a different outcome. <laughs> White isn't considered a hard puncher. That really got me when I like after after reading that. I was like, wow. This guy does he even watch boxing or well? Or is it just one of those Nigerians, you know, our brothers that tend to dislike Joshua for any for some reasons? Because if you watch boxing, you would know the most complete boxers uh in every division right now. I mean Joshua should be number one. Some power, just some accuracy, combinations, 
you know his uppercut is deadly you know his footwork of course is good not the best yet but it's better than Wilder's footwork for sure you know and um, what else like you know he's a gentleman and like he's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's a gentleman i just think some people tend to have that dislike for Joshua based on I don't know based on something that we cannot I cannot really say because I don't really know what's going on what's going through in this guy's mind but I know some people who just dislike Joshua for the fact that he's you know British Nigerian or for the fact that he has said where he's from or for the fact that uh, he's on top he got to the top at you know in a very fast pace compared to the other other guys so Peter Wado has been in the game for a long long time Bro, uh, like you, like you see, you, 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 of course, seeing this. How does that make you feel? Like, do you think this guy's right, or what do you think? Like, is it just because I remember after Joshua lost, you know, some Nigerians did come online to mock him, and I saw that as well, you know. So, some Nigerians are chameleon, but it's what it is. It's just humans, bro, I, I, and I, and I, and it makes me sad as an, as a Patriot Nigerian, as a Patriot, make me sad. But what do you think, bro? You see, you know. Thanks very much. Yeah, you see, the thing is this. One of the things is this. Yeah. Sometimes when we feel like we supporting a particular fighter, we try to do things. Yeah, to degrade or downgrade. I want to try use a proper technical Nigerian word. Yeah. We can like degrade or downgrade or try to see which we can demolish another person. Right. Like, the quotation this guy made, he pretty much described Deontay Wilder. And the funny thing is, Deontay Wilder to himself now, he said one thing, age has been dropped three times, right? Wilder as well has been dropped three times. See if you get what I'm saying. In yeah, the brother. first fight where he, got, where he got knocked down, Wilder was dropped and that, and that, and that. Yeah, Wilder as well has been dropped three times and stuff like that. But, the... Right. Deontay Like, can you repeat, bro? Can you repeat? We lost you in a minute. Repeat, repeat bro. Like I said, he pretty much described Deontay Wilder. In everything he said, he described Deontay Wilder. But, like I said, there are some fans whereby once they like or they're so into one other fighter, they do everything to demolish other fighter. And this guy said, probably, you know, AJ is not one of those is really into like that and it's just the same whereby it's the same. But if he's, he needs to go make his own research back again. And I think it's a good thing, you know, without even talking about this, with the response he's got in like, come on, man. That's why the people have replied in there like, you know, you are you describing Wilder? Because that's pretty much what you talk about. You just bring the name AJ there and stuff like that. But... You know what, yeah, like, we always say, people are just who they are. Some are just there, like, like you said, rightly said, when they lost, a lot of people came out, this and that, but the truth is, if you don't know somebody, shut up. Because sometimes it's not about what you see. It's like saying, oh, the way John Tawada has lost now, John Tawada is not a good fighter. No, John Tawada is still one of the fastest boxer. He is fast. Once he catches you sleeping, you, the only thing is do not blink, and that's why Wilder, Wilder always tell you, you can be, you need to be perfect for the old 12 round. I just need two seconds. He is very fast, which that cannot be taken out of Deontay at all. AJ has his own thing as well. Every one of them has their things in different ways. So if you're saying what he's saying is a thing where he needs to go back, look at what he's written, go and check AJ properly. And then maybe reframe his word again. But sometimes when you don't know saying things, just shut your mouth. You know, sometimes you don't have to talk. You know, because you want to do certain things, you just want to say certain things, you just want to make yourself relevant. Don't just say things that will make you now feel a lot more relevant. The guy feel the guy feel like he like I actually I actually have someone to write him though. Like the guy feel like he he just that's how he feels. He feel like Joshua is not a good boxer. Yeah. The the yeah. water is better than him. Like he's Yeah, that's his opinion, right? But if that was the true case, everyone knows exactly what happened. If Deontay Water knows he can beat I won't use the word defeat. 
if Deontay knows he can be AJ, trust me, the fight AJ won that will have happened time ago. And that's one of the reasons why. Why would you fire the promoter that wants you to have the best fight and earn the highest money ever you will earn in just fighting one person? If the confidence was there, if not within himself, I would defeat this person. No matter what, I will beat this guy. You have nothing to worry about. And a good example is Andre Ruiz. It looks like, you know what, let me do this. I will shock the world. I know I can do it. Please give me the chance. And he got given the chance. And he did what? Prove what he said. Right? If John did knows he can do this thing, trust me, all the negotiation for about three years would not stay that long. For two and a half years, sorry. It wouldn't stay that long. But because the confidence was not really there. Those he knows he can defeat. People, the truth is that John Tawala genuinely believed he would defeat Tyson Fury. He genuinely believed he would defeat Tyson Fury. And that's why, till today, he's not accepting that defeat. And that's the reason why he's going to lose when the fight again. Because with all the statements Deontay has been given. But based on what this guy said, it, you know, I don't, you don't need to like a particular person. But the thing there is, one thing I always say to people is, if you don't like a person, don't try to demolish him because at the end of the day the description he gave was not even a description of AJ at all that's not AJ at all but because you don't really fancy or like AJ or do anything doesn't mean you just come touchy and you know just talk like that that's just the end Clans brother I mean you definitely like <laughs> said uh, said it right bro you know Tajak boy yeah man yeah brother the take on the coming statement coming from uh count 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 to some of these statements that he that he said uh, re read me the first statement uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna count it as he said water is definitely uh more dangerous than aj aj has nothing to work on as a boxer okay so the only time is good is when an opponent isn't fighting back Okay, let, let me let me say that real quick. AJ has nothing good to work on, but AJ is known for his power in both hands. Wilder is known for power in one hand. What else does Wilder have? Nothing. You take away that power in the right hand, it's completely done. Wilder's jab is lack of medi uh, uh, mediocre uh, at best. AJ, what well, what you don't know that you that 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 you don't know uh, as AJ, but AJ doesn't show it sometimes. AJ has very good fundamentals. I mean, he 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 can counter. He has the he has one of the best counter in, in in the heavyweight division. And you might think he's slow, but he's actually not slow. When he counters, he hits the opponent. He hits his opponent opponents and hits that mark. Unlike Wilder, Wilder is wild and everywhere. When he counters, he misses. All right. When 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 you talk about skill wise, have when how many how many how many times have you seen Wilder throw an actual uppercut to really take out an opponent? You don't know. How many times have you seen AJ throwing combinations of uppercuts to really take it on an opponent? I could I could tell you so many times. But what what's the other what's the other statement that he made? He said his jab, um he said his jab is poor, his stance is horrible, he can't take a punch, and he's been dropped more than three times. I think that guy meant to say that about Wilder. Because I can't believe he even said that about AJ. AJ stance is perfect. AJ AJ's jabs. I don't know if you've ever seen the way AJ's jab. AJ's jab is is very 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 good. I don't know if he's ever seen it. Maybe he's talking about Wilder because I don't think he gets the difference between Wilder and AJ. How can you say AJ stance is piss poor? How can you say his jab is terrible? That doesn't even make sense to me the way he's talking about. It, you know, because when, when you talk about when you when you when you do a side by side comparison, which one day I would I would hope BBC would do one day a side by side comparison of let's let's compare uh, AJ's jab and Wilder's jab. Yeah, what you just said right there, you look stupid. Okay, I wish this was a live. We were going live right now, and we you were able to come on and we will show you a side by side comparison of uh, AJ's jab and Wilder's jab. You look stupid. 
as just as much as you look stupid with the stance. I don't know what I don't know if you really watch boxing. I don't know if you ever seen Wilder throw a punch, but this guy is 99% of the time he's off he's off balance when he throws a punch. And let's not talk about chin wise. Uh, 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 have you uh, have you seen when Klitschko dropped uh, when Klitschko threw a punch at AJ? He threw punches at AJ more than once, and AJ took it. Unlike the last one where AJ got hit cleanly, very cleanly, and then AJ went down, but he got back up. Let's speak about Wilder. Wilder's chin has been has been questionable since the beginning of his career. Let's talk. Let's look at Arthur Arthur Spilka. When Arthur Spilka hit him, let's not talk about he didn't. He wasn't buzzed. The worst one of all was Eric Molina. Did we forget about Eric Molina? I was Eric Molina wasn't able to finish that job because when when Wilder hit Eric. You Molina, know the first time. Uh, sorry to interrupt. The first time oh. Wilder got dropped as a pro was against Harold Skonias. A guy that had more losses than wins on his record. He dropped water. And I'm not just making this up, it's for real. Continue, brother. Yeah, so, okay, when, I, when we talk about Eric Molina, Eric Molina, that, that guy doesn't have power, okay? So, when Eric Molina touched uh, 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 Wilder, his legs became spaghetti. So, you imagine what AJ would do to Wilder. Tyson Fury is not known for, a, for for punching power. His KO ratio is not up there. So why did Wilder get? Why did Wilder lose to a, to an opponent of to an opponent that's not known for a KO power? Ortiz even Ortiz even stunned Wilder. So who who between the two doesn't have a chin? We've been saying it all along. Wilder does not have a chin. He's lucky somebody like AJ's caliber has not gotten to him yet. You, he's lucky AJ wasn't the one fighting him that night. If AJ was the one fighting Deontay Wilder, where I'm guaranteeing you Wilder, his career would have been over. A hundred percent. He would have been done. And that's where I'm going to leave because there's no, I can't even count to that. No by the way, it is, yeah, it is Deontay Wilder here getting dropped by Aros Corner, being dropped by Aros Corners. You know, Aros Corners who had more losses than wins dropped Deontay Wilder, okay? And uh, of course, uh, these got deleted, you know, online. Uh, there was a, it wasn't on site. It wasn't. It used to be on you on YouTube, then it got removed by PBC, and then I found it on a site. You know, someone sent it sent it to me, and I wanted to like upload it, but couldn't upload it. And when I went back to the site, it was already gone. You know, they've been they've been like trying to do that, but um, him getting dropped by Tyson Fury, yeah, just kind of like kind of exposed everything. Now they cannot remove it. So, for those of you guys who don't know, yeah, it is, man. This is the only picture you can find online now. The video has been deleted by PBC. It is what it is, bro. But, thanks, brother. I think this is our brother need to, like, um, like study boxing more. Uh, and should he just go, you shouldn't just go by what people say and all the stuff. But, it is what it is. Uh, no matter where you are in life, some people, you know, will always, you know, hate on you or see you as like um you know see you in a certain type of way you know they feel like oh uh, some people don't like you don't like you you know it's just like some boxers hitting on aj they don't like him uh they don't really have a reason for it but this is what it is man stay blessed younger still more guys and follow me on instagram at boxing block center on twitter at boxing block and as well on facebook at boxing block center the blessed guys.